Yeah, Lindsay, they believe it started in a bedroom at the house that you see behind me now. Just in the last hour, uh, they did board up one of the windows, but you can see on the side uh, are reminders of all the smoke that poured out of here earlier today in a fire that claimed the life of a woman who was battling cancer. Her name was Cindy Freemuth. Her husband says she battled cancer for three years and had just decided to stop treatment. He tells us she was only 60 years old. These are pictures of her. A police officer, we're told, tried to run in to help her, but flames and smoke stopped him in his tracks. That officer had slight smoke inhalation, had to see a doctor. Tonight, really in an incredibly emotional interview, Cindy's husband told us she was just too weak and too ill to get out of the home. Here's what he told us. She couldn't escape. My sons tried to help her, but they couldn't. It was too much fire and too much smoke. So now she's gone. And we thank that man for talking to us. He has had um, one of the worst days of his life, so it means a lot that he did interview with us. As for the scene, we should mention this house isn't a total loss. Uh, we are told that it will be unlivable for quite some time and will take a lot of money and a lot of effort to repair everything here. Other than Cindy, though, the other eight family members who were in the house at the time are all okay. In Mesa tonight, Ryan Sims, Arizona's Family.